Welcome back to my channel. I am Stacy, and look, yet another mukbang yeah. and chit chat. Today, my I got some soul food, and it is I have fried chicken, a breast, uh, collard greens, cabbage. I know that's weird to have collard greens and cabbage, but that's what I wanted, and macaroni and cheese, and it comes with cornbread. And because I is, I gotta work in a little bit. I'm just drinking regular old Coke. <laughs> and the story behind this Coke, I'll tell you in a minute, it's not regular Coke, it's Coke Zero, but I'm forced to drink it because I asked for it, and Tika was like, I get it, you go drink it. But I really wanted a Coke, and they didn't have regular, so there you have it. But anyway, let me get ready to say my grace, and we are going to get started. God bless this weird place for me for a nurse my body will do everything that's home. Bless the hands of for bread. Just say my prayer. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna play again. It's probably it's late over and it's getting over in the evening. Um everybody is home, so you might hear the boys at some point. Maybe you won't, you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, yesterday I did a mukbang, um Golden Crush. And I was talking about, you know, different things and um, in it like I always do. But one of the things I was talking about was, um, I said, uh-oh, I've never been to the movies by myself. Um, I haven't went out to eat, but, you know, like just go into a restaurant and sit down and order my food and just sit by myself and uh, eat. Um, never been to a park just to do a stroll by myself. Now, um, and if I did, like I said, when I, you know, that doesn't say I don't go to a park. In times past, um, I used to do a lot of journaling. Um, and so what I would do is I would go and I would find somewhere, go to a park and I would park and, but I would sit in the car, I wouldn't get out. I would sit in the car, you know, all to myself, and I would just look around. Sometimes I would get out and just, you know, walk, like, immediately around the car or, you know, a few feet away from the car, but I didn't just, like, stroll the whole park. And then I would just sit and write. Now, one time I did go and sit up under, uh, there was a table under a tree and write. But as far as just doing that on a regular, no. And I think a lot of people misconstrued what I was saying. Um, so I want to talk to you about, I want to clear up some things. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all where this food came from. It's a place called Gigi's. It's a little spot here in Covington. Um, and they have some really good food. So... Um, But anyway, and um, so what I want to talk about, what I want to bring some clarity to that is, for the, those of you that don't know, I have four kids. Four, I, I, I've, we've talked about this before. I got four different, I have four kids. Two girls, two boys. They range in age. My youngest, which is Michael, is 19. My oldest, which is Ezekiel, y'all haven't met him. He is 32. Okay, now if you do the math, and for those that know my age, I'm 46. I'll be 47 next month. So if you do the math as the age is stand right now, I had my son when I was 14. And then three months later, I turned 15. So literally, I have been a mother all of my life, um, pretty much, you know, from teenage, early teenage years, you know, of course. So... I'm, and I'm an only child, for those of you that don't know. I, I am my mother's only child. So I was raised as an only child. I had my cousins and stuff with me, but again, my mom's the only child. And I was, I've always been this type of person. I have to have me time. I, I think that's a... I'm always around people because I have kids. Now I have grandkids. Um, when I was in the shop, constantly busy, came home busy. So basically, 
I have to spend time by myself. And because I'm always, I have children, single parent, never been married. I've always had a lot of stuff going on. I, yeah, I'm that person that my me time would come when they when everybody was school age and they'll be in school. I very seldom. I didn't like to schedule people in the morning hours before, and I'm still like that now. Because that would be my quiet time. I enjoy being by myself. Sometimes I think I like being by myself too much. So, oh, mmm. Oh, I should have got two orders of these collard greens. Oh, these are good. Ooh. these are good okay so when I say that I haven't done those things let me explain that I'm not a big movie goer so the most I go to the movies is when I'm going when I'm on a date to be honest it's always been I was when I was uh, dating you know that's one of the things you do when you date go to, to the movies I've been to the movies like when um, in ministry because we would have movie day. The women would all go to the movies and stuff like that. Um, and now, me and my mom, that's becoming our little thing. You know, I want to start doing is going to the movies um, during the daytime. And me and Tika, and you know, I I'm getting into that. I've never been a big movie goer because for one, depends upon the movie. You will miss a lot of stuff. If it was a comedy movie, people were still laughing at this joke. When the next joke come along, you miss it because people are still laughing. So I just I've never really been a big movie goer just in general. I'm learning to do that more just because now that my children, we all like the same movies. My mom wanna to spend more time with her. That kind of stuff. That's why I'm getting more into moving. Of course, because I date. When you know, that's one of the things that you know. A lot of men love movies, so we end up. But you all, I'm always going to see like action movies and stuff like that. As far as going out to eat, I've never been a person that like to go and sit and eat. I would like to get my food to go and bring it home. And a lot of times, I would have my little quiet time eating my restaurant food at home. While I'm reading a book, because I love to read. I've gotten away from it, but that has always been my first passion. I love to read and write. Then got away from them both. As you get older, things change, whatever, whatever. Slowly getting back to it. But I'm saying all that to say, the reason I have never done all these those things by myself is because I'm just not big on them. The reason I go out to eat as much as I do now, again, because of dating and because of Tika. Tika love, 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 love going out to eat. So me and Tika go out to eat more than anybody. I think me and her go out to eat more than her and Robert. Because and uh, usually when we out and Beverly goes with us, you know, the boys, Michael, it just depends on what we're doing. We all go out to eat, but we just kind of, it's not a time to record it, you know, and take pictures and We just having our family time. We just having our time together. So I don't want people to think that I don't like being by myself. I love to be by myself. Like I said, I think I like it a little too much. Uh, because when I find myself being around people too much, I'm like, okay, I don't have enough human interaction for the day. I, I got, I, I need to go be by myself. And I'm perfectly okay with that. So, I want to bring clarity to that. Um, so now you know. I love, I love being by myself. I just, my idea of being by myself is if I want something to eat that's not home cooked, I will go get it, bring it home, maybe have, a, use this a glass of wine, listen to light candles, might listen to music, you know. And at one point, we we'll go sit outside, you know, is that, you know, it's just different times calls for different things. So now, because the boys are in school, but you know, everybody's bigger now, you know, and everybody's schedules are different. 
you know, now when I get some quiet time, it's strictly to be quiet. I don't even turn on TVs or radios for the most part. Uh, when I want to listen to music, I listen to it. But for the most part, if I'm at home now, this day and time by myself, it's totally quiet. I might find a movie to watch, but that's just, it just depends. So, um, yeah, I want y'all to think I don't like myself. I love myself. And I just sometimes, I just like, I like total quiet so I can hear myself think, gather my thoughts, and get ready for whatever else is coming up. Now, moving on. Y'all, this food, I wish I could taste it. This food is good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm Oh, this food's good. I gotta stay away from them. Because this will make me want to, um, I'd be wanting to eat this stuff at least two, three, two times a week, and that's just too much. But, eating this meal made me think about um, one of my fellow um, content creators, Snoopy Eats. He had requested a while back. Um, for me to do a soul food meal and he wanted me to talk about the kind of guys that I like. Just, you know, just in conversation, guys, that I, you know, I like to date or whatever, what I like about them. And I'm pretty, a lot of people miss, a lot of people just, I guess, I don't know what they don't know, they just assume well, they have to. But I am very laid back. I like somebody to know how to date, how to court. I think in this day and time, chivalry is almost dead. I love a man that is a gentleman. Believe it or not, one that opens doors for you, holds the door for you. Um, you ain't got to necessarily pull out a chair for me. I know that's part of it, but... I know if you want to pull out your fine, but you know, hey, I'm okay with it. But it's just something about open doors. I love for a man that open that will open the door, hold the door. If we in the car, he gets out the car. You know, even when you see me motioning to get out, no, I'm a, I'm a gentleman, and get out the car, walk around, open the door. That's that's the kind of stuff I like. Only because that's the way I was raised. That's the way I raised my boys to be. I love, I just, to be a gentleman. And I love one that is attentive. Uh, being attentive and being overbearing is two different things. When I say attentive, I mean something as simple as, I'm that girl, I like a good morning text. You don't have to call. I like a good morning text. I like a good night text. If I don't get them two texts, I have a problem. I'm sorry. That might seem very minute to somebody else, but to me it's very important. Let you know, when you get up after, I'm hoping you're doing your morning prayers or whatever you do, but at some point in the a.m. hour, shortly after you get within the hour, and within two hours of getting up, I would like a good morning. Let me know. That's simply saying you was on my mind. I was thinking about you. At night. When you get ready to go to bed, I don't care what time it is. When you get ready to lay it down or whatever, even if you it's an hour before you actually go to sleep, I like a good night text. You know, good night. You know, that tells me, yes, I'm ending my day for today. I'm, I'm winding down, but you were in my thoughts. That's simply what a good morning and a good night takes me. Throughout the day, if you can't, you know, I would prefer if you can pick up the phone but I understand so it depends upon your job you might can't a text that's all I need is 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 communication why I'm a communicator that's what I like again this you know I'm, I'm answering these questions because it was asked what do I like okay I like one that I would like to feel secure okay 
I told you I eat weird too. You know, I told you, you know, I like to eat my vegetables and all that stuff first. I usually eat my meat last. But anyway, <laughs> I ain't even go over there. But anyway, yeah. I like to feel secure. If we go on somewhere, I don't want to have to be scared that if, you know, I like mentally knowing that you are a protector. You know your role as the man, you are a protector. If something go down, I know I'm safe because you're going to take care, make sure I'm straight and people around you and yourself, but you're, you're going to, you know, you, you want to feel secure. You want to feel safe. I have noticed, you know, they say that I, I was raised to believe this and I've seen both sides of this. They say that a man, you always pay attention to how a man talks about his mother and how he treats his mother. For the most part, I found that to be true. If he's good to his mother and he's very considerate of his mother, he's going to treat his woman good. But I'm saying some they had they had good mothers and they didn't work for them. I'm just gonna be honest. Personal choices, personal decisions they make. But you don't have to have the the finest of everything. You know, everybody you know everybody don't live a grand life. I just want somebody that knows that is not that's not lazy i don't want no man that you know a lot of them now want the woman to take care of them. i'm not taking care of no man i took i i had boys those are the only men that i took care of i'm not taking care of no wrong man i'm just not gonna do it you know i don't like no man that stay they're always trying to be in your pockets don't count my coins because i'm not counting your coins don't ask me for money because I don't ask you, I don't ask men for money. It's either if I can get it, I get it. If you give it to me, wonderful. But I don't ask. That's just me. That's the way I was raised. It is just something about a turnoff when a man asks me for money. Now, if it's something where you know we is, we living together, and you and you know, and we got this whatever we got going on. And you need help on something here and there. That's different. But you asking me, we're we're dating or we're seeing each other occasionally. We cut buddies, whatever you want to call it. We ain't no, we ain't in nothing that trying to run a household together. And you ask me for some money, I'm gonna have a problem with that because my thing is, did I ask? You know, I'm not. Just don't do that. And when you step and say, well, I know you got it. <laughs> so I was set to work, but I don't care. It's my money, and if I don't care if I want to damn go in the backyard and build a barn fire with the money. It's mine. It's not yours. Don't don't count my money, cause I don't count yours. Don't try to figure out how much I made, cause I had X, Y, and Z customers, and or oh, it's that time of year uh, for taxes. Or that is such a turnoff to me. I've also learned I want somebody that understands family. Now these calls are so good. They understand family and that loves family. I am a family oriented person. I always have been. So if you don't value family that there's nothing else mean you can do that we we can't even really have a conversation because we our outlook on things are totally different okay next thing i pay attention to them i'm not that woman don't if you break up somebody don't sit up and talk about her like a dog to me that is a turn off to me don't sit up and talk about your ex like a dog and she every bee and every everything else in the book because you may because my thing is if you talk about her negatively to me then i'm sure when you get mad at me you go talk about me like a dog to the next one that'll listen so that's the turn off if you're talking about your whoever 
your ex or whatever in a negative tone to me, then that's a turn off to me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to date you. We can't even get with the conversation because, again, like I said, at some point, I'm going to be that subject of that ill-mannered conversation that you have with me. I'm going to be the subject with the next woman. Hell no. And I like people that are people. I mean, you don't have to be the type that everywhere you go, you got to talk to everybody. But I do like a friendly person, somebody that can vibe with people that when y'all go out, they're not sitting there mean mugging at everybody or getting mad because you're, you know, because I speak to people. So I need somebody that can understand that. Um, as far as, you know, he has, he was like, you know, like physical wise. Okay. This is probably why I'm going to lose some people. I'm learning now, but pretty much all my life, up until like in my recent, you know, years as I've gotten older, say within the past five years or so, I've always liked to date. I mean, I'm not going to say necessarily tall, even though I love a tall guy. I'm not going to lie. I love height. But, you know, as long as you're taller than me, you know, five, six, five, seven, that's short. For a man, but it's okay for me because I'm five two. I love a tall man. The tallest one I've dated, and I've dated two that was this height, is six nine. I like that kind of character now. But anyway, we even get off into that. The point is, I've always been attracted to slim guys. Slim me slim to medium build. Some several of them have been skinny. But I'm a big girl. So I've always been now as I'm getting older i have you know dated some some chunky guys some you know healthy guys and i mean it's cool i mean i'm like okay well it was a lot of you know big dudes in the day back in the day that was trying to talk to me that hell one of them might have been my husband <laughs> we could have lost weight together but oh well there ain't nothing i can do about it but now i'm i'm you know i'm not as close-minded as far as tights because i realize Hell, my choices have not been the greatest, but they were okay for that point. But as far as, but also my choices also came from when you're not in a position to want to be married, which I wasn't. I dated guys that I think in my head I knew didn't want to get married. Um, that really weren't met the marrying type or something like that because I'm like you know. I ain't ready to get married. So why play with somebody that's in a totally different mindset than you? Okay. So, I love someone that can make me laugh. A sense of humor is a must. You got to be a sense of, have a sense of humor. I really like somebody that like to drink. Why? Because I'm a drinker. Don't necessarily care for smokers, but hey, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I, I date, look like almost everybody, just, just about have been smokers but they you know i don't judge because my thing is whatever hey whatever works for you you know it doesn't interfere with us but i i have tried dating guys that don't drink and that is kind of blocked because then i started feeling like i was looking like an alcoholic when we would be out because whether i was at their house or they would come uh to my house or we go out to drink I'm looking like the alcoholic because here it is. I got a picture of margarita sitting on the table and I'm the only one drinking out of it. Because I'm like, I know I'm at least have two drinks. So, you know, it, it's just, I found that for me, I like someone that knows how to socially drink. Not an alcoholic. Not somebody that, can, that, gets, that drinks and can't hold the alcohol and get an attitude and violent and ready to fight everybody. No, I don't want that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. But I do want somebody that got some sense in the head. Again, when I was younger, I still didn't necessarily date bad guys only because I had kids. So you couldn't be no bad guy. You know, you might be a fun one, but you can be no bad one. And always in trouble and all of that. But, life is what it is. But anyway, 
So, I love a well, let me let me say that. I love a well girl. I like a man to take care of his appearance. Because I'm a woman that takes care of my appearance. So, I want, I want us to compliment each other. Mm-mm. We, yeah, I want to be. I want to compliment each other. Somebody that takes um, care in their appearance, and you know, somebody that I can take around my family that they go like hard. It's like, boy, I been meeting them, and it, I'm not going even. And it's for I'm gonna touch on age. <laughs> It doesn't really matter with the age in the sense that I've dated guys my age, I've dated guys younger than me, I've dated guys older than me. Now, I will have to say, I have more fun with guys younger than myself. Uh, I really do. But, the Ben's mind and his mindset I've had something that wore my nerves out. So, so either way, I did what it is. But yeah, now if you want to know what's my preference, I'm almost ashamed to say <laughs> I prefer younger. I do. Not too young. Because I have met, uh, yeah, um, and I know I swear it's like the older my kids get, the younger the guys that come at me, and I be like, I can't date, I can't date you. You younger than my son. My, you know, my oldest is thirty two. Well, and I'm not gonna date nobody in their twenties. Now I'm just not gonna do that. I, I, there's, I just, it's, the way my mind set up and my nerves, I definitely couldn't do that. But anyway, the chicken is good, y'all. The food is good. And I'm just talking. I know I love talk. Mm. But. Now, do I want, I'm going to say this, and I guess in the, I'm going to say in a few, I'm going to get ready to wrap it up. But, do I want somebody, do I want to get married one day? Yeah, I do. And I'm getting older. My children, I got two married, and the younger two aren't. My older two got kids, and my younger two don't. But I know it's going to be at a point, like I was saying, do I know at a point that my younger two are going to want to start a family, families of their own? And yeah, so at some point, I do, I would love to, I would love to be in a relationship. Um, right now, it's just, again, day stage, you know. But, and I know to really get out there, I got to get out the house, but I just enjoy being at home. I, I have definitely become a homebody uh, as I have gotten older because I was that, that girl that was always in the clubs, um, always hanging out with friends, whatever we had planned. I was always doing something with family and friends, you know, with my buddies and my friends and stuff. And it's like now, I just enjoy the sanity and the quietness and the sanctity of being at home. Um, and... I think that also affects who I date at the time because I do go through my stages. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get out more. I'm tired of being at home. Usually, when I get like that, I end up dating somebody younger because they, you know, stay. They love most younger guys just love to be out and about. They don't mind driving all around the world. I don't like to drive, so hey, I can get in the car and just ride, you know. But I do see that there are young, older guys that like to do it as well, and that's that's cool. And but you got to understand the importance of family. Uh, and I guess basically, I'm at this point now that when I meet the right person, I'll know it. Um, 
because I definitely want someone that understand that cares enough that let me say that that cares enough to get to know Stacy. It's wonderful if the outer appearance attracts you because we're usually always you know that's the first part of meeting someone unless you meet them like a blind date or something like that but usually what you see is what initially attracts you and then from there you know other things affect it i want someone who cares enough and is patient enough to get to know me and the things that are that attracted you to me don't uh, don't let those be the things that you grow to dislike or get irritated with because that has been one of my biggest issues and now i'm going to talk about this and then i'm gonna end this i eat the rest of my food later and that is usually the things that attract men to me at some point they start disliking it like what what initially attracts people is you know the men are they are they say they're attracted to my per, you know my appearance that you know I'm, I look this way X Y Z whatever and they love the fact that I like I keep my hair done I keep myself looking nice and I don't just leave out and look in any kind of way or just you know be you know even at home I try to look nice so and y'all and they love that whenever we go going out to the grocery store or going to the store or wherever you know without a shadow of doubt that I'm gonna be put together correctly they love that in the beginning but then once it you know you put titles on what you and him are and then now i'm you know i'm saying we're at, we're actually that's who i'm seeing we're in a relationship whatever then they start getting mad because i won't go anywhere without making sure my hair combed or my makeup is done and this and that and you don't have to do all that we just go into the store okay i don't know what anything can happen between here and the store I don't want to be caught out looking in the kind of way. Now, well, I, I will admit now at nighttime, I'll go somewhere. I might not be put together at night because it's nighttime. But during the daytime, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. And that begins to aggravate men because they're like, you know, it don't take all that. It's just, you just going to the store. You just going to do this. Okay. And I still, this is who I am. This is who I was when you met me. This is who I am today. And then another thing that men say they like, they say they love the fact that I'm not clingy. I'm not, I'm not clingy at all. But then as time goes on and we get closer, then you got a problem because you're like, you act like you, you know, you so, you act like you don't care. And, you know, I'm like, well, no, that's not it. But if you say you got X, Y, and Z to do today, then I'm gonna let you have that time. I look at it like when you have the time to talk, you will call me or you will text me. I'm not the one that be blowing your telephone up and and if I call you and you don't answer the phone the first time I call, I hang up and call right back or anything. I don't do all that. And in the beginning, men say they love that. But then they get mad and start complaining about it. So I was like, okay, I don't know what to do in this case. But I am, I, I believe in, because this is, have always been my outtake and outlook of things. I'm not that woman that's going to chase you down or just going to constantly nag you and blowing your phone up and showing up at your house on the house. I'm not doing any of that because at the end of the day, if you, you know, grown, we are, we're both grown. One thing about it, if a grown person have position in their heart that they want to do something, they're going to do it. You cannot stop a grown person from doing anything. Now, you might can slow them down and slow them down as in they might can't do it at the very moment that they want to do it because you done showed up and you done called or decent. But if it's something they want to do, they're going to do it. So if they want to go cheat or whatever, they're going to do it. I don't, I'm not going to worry myself to death of what you're doing because I have other things to worry about and vice versa again you you know if i want to do something i'm gonna do it but if i'm putting a tight if i care enough to put a title on us then you ain't got to worry about nobody else you ain't got to worry about me until you stop paying attention as simple as that as long as you got my attention as long as you're showing me that i mean something to you you got me wholeheartedly it's nobody else i'm not thinking about it. i ain't trying to give none of that but when you start falling off i fall off with you 
is that just that's just common sense now come on but I just I love a man that knows who he is and that knows the role of a man as well as know the role of a woman and appreciate that so I can't cover it all it's so much more I could keep talking about but I'm I don't want this to get any longer than what it is um so we're gonna go ahead and end this my food was magnificent it was really good but i don't talk so much now i'm gonna have to go heat my food back up and then but i'm gonna eat i gotta get ready to work in a little bit y'all so i'm saying i'm gonna put this up and then i'll eat the rest later because i don't want to get too full because then i get sluggish and i gotta work so i just absolutely love you guys thank you for sticking around yeah so you can see how much i, I pretty much all my food Except for my cabbage. But I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today. And I will talk to you guys soon. Please don't forget to like this video. Comment. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And please feel free to share this video with as many people as you love to share it with. I love you guys. And until next time, keep the suggestions coming. And again, thank you, Snoopy, for the topic. And, um... Talk to you guys later. Love you, my brown sugar sweet things. Bye.